Welcome to CEO Insights. I'm Marilyn De Guzman with InvestingNews.com. I'm speaking with Howie Honeyman, CEO of Toronto-based Forward Water Technologies. Great to see you, Howie. Nice to see you, Marilyn. So let's start our conversation with an overview of the company and, and then maybe explain your technology and why it's an important application for the mining and processing industry. So Forward Water is commercializing a new type of water treatment that is aimed at treating wastewater that really goes for only three final fates right now, which is burn, bury, and boil. And that gets rid of the water uh, on a freshwater basis. What we do is we come in and we recover it economically and re- make the water available for reuse. So part of our, our, our mandate is to make water piece of, a piece of infrastructure as opposed to something that gets disposed of on a regular basis. So let's talk about that recent installation. Uh, you posted it on on, um, on LinkedIn, and it's an installation at a lithium carbonate production plant using your IFO mobile unit. Could you talk about this installation, why that's a significant uh, project and uh, the goals for that project? Yeah, that's a v- very important project for us for a couple of reasons. Um, one, we're involved in the direct lithium extraction processing pathway where we are making the isolation of the lithium carbonate far more efficient than is currently being done. So not only do we make that uh, chemical conversion more efficient, we save water, we reduce energy, making the march towards EV vehicles even more sustainable. Secondly, we're doing that at a commercial volume scale on site with a client. And so not only are we demonstrating the technology works, but we're showing that it works in a commercial environment. And that's a big milestone for us. We're additionally excited because all of those results apply to other sectors as well, because at the end of the day, we're treating water that is high brine content, very salty is what we mean by brine content, that can't be treated today except by forced evaporation. And we can isolate clean water while at the same time concentrating those minerals for chemical conversion. And this is essentially treating salty water in a wastewater uh, uh, process. So the data transports itself very nicely. We'll be able to show economic viability, not only in the lithium space, but in the wastewater space and the mining space uh, and the brine processing space. So we're, this is a seminal uh, event for us. So is the mining industry then uh, your primary target or could you talk about some other applications in other industries for your technology? Absolutely. So our technology is applicable in mining and resource recovery, but it's also applicable in ener- the energy sector to the extent that we can process waste fo- wastewater uh, produced from oil and gas uh, isolation. Um, we're also involved in the food and beverage sector where a lot of uh, water is used, becomes salty uh, and difficult to process or use again. And we step into that industry as well, allowing that water to be repurposed recycled and reused, uh, which does a couple of things. It can allow a food and beverage manufacturer to make more product. It can reduce the amount of water they take from the municipal system, which benefits everybody. So we're looking at a a large number of sectors, uh, industrial manufacturing, food and beverage sector, energy recovery, as well as uh, mineral extraction. Mm -hmm. So like, obviously there's, uh, you know, other technologies out there that's in this, this space. What is your unique value proposition? What makes your technology stand out among your peers? Yeah, this is this is really important. Um, we are a new evolving technology that is entering the marketplace. Most of the technologies today rely on a burn barrier boil te- uh, approach. And most often it's it's boiling, forced evaporation. It's energy, cons- energy intensive, it's expensive. The materials of construction are exotic and subsequently lead to high capital costs. We remove all of those barriers. We're a low energy process that treats the same water streams that these high energy processes do. So we're low energy, low material costs, so low capital cost, and we replace this forced evaporation. At the same time, we return water back for reuse. So Talk about some of the uh, catalysts or what the investor community can expect from your company in, over the next uh, coming Yeah, months. absolutely. So I think one, we've mentioned the, the on-site demonstration that we're running now and how the results can be projected onto other industries. So I think that's one of the catalysts in the industry. Most uh, new water treatment technologies are, are viewed skeptically. 
until they're demonstrated at commercial scale. And we've been focused very much on not only getting a paid forward contract to demonstrate at commercial scale, but actually meeting that scale. And so that's a key catalyst for us as well. And I think what we're going to see from that is a uh, accelerated adoption of our technology across other industries. Because as I mentioned earlier, the data sets, the results are portable, meaning you can move them and apply them to other sectors with high confidence. I'm looking forward to coming, having you back here and uh, talk, uh, discussing the results of that uh, install. Thanks again Marilyn, for joining Thank you very much. Take thank care. You. Have a wonderful day. Yes. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Join us again next time for another edition of CEO Insights. If you like this video, leave a comment below and hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive interviews and executive insights.